So I think we were on to something with all of this talk on respect. Let's keep going with the same theme and see if we can go a little deeper into respect and how it can work in our lives. But before that, let's review the big idea again. Everybody repeat after me. Respect. Respect. Showing others. Showing others. They are important. They are important. By what you say and do. By what you say and do. Now, Tucker, I brought you here today to help us learn more about respect because obviously I'm kind of busy. Oh, I'm excited to be here, Melissa, and I'm more than happy to help. What do you need me to do? As you can see, we have a chart made up of three columns. The first column is about who we can show respect to. The second column will show us examples of how we can show respect or disrespect. And the third column is going to help us find out why we should show respect. Okay, I think I got it. Who, how, why, one, two, three, got it. I'm good. All right, so there are nine pictures here. Three of them need to go in the who column, three in the how column, and three in the why column. You need to work to put these nine pictures on the chart where you think they should go. Mm. Think of it this way. The pictures tell three stories. So this is a story, then the second story goes okay. here, yeah. and the third story goes here. So whatever picture you think fits your who column, the how and why pictures should match. Yeah, this should be easy. I could spend all day sitting here looking at those pictures and imagining how they can fit together. Yeah, well, we don't have all day. So how about I give you 28 seconds to put together this little chart? All right, on your mark, get set, go. Um. Done. All right, so let's see how you did. What do we have in our who column? You did great. In the first column, we find a teacher, a coach, and parents. These people are in charge of you at, at school, after school, and at home. How about the next ones? Um, let's call the boy in the pictures Ricky. What's Ricky doing? It looks like he's sitting at a desk listening right here. Yes, that's exactly right. How does that show his teacher respect? Ricky shows respect to his teacher by, by, by being quiet during class so he and the other students can listen to what she's saying. Good job. Now, let's see this second picture. I see Ricky lying on a couch watching TV with a soccer ball on the floor. Um, just knowing what coaches are like, I bet his coach told him to go to practice. So how is Ricky showing respect to his coach? I don't think Ricky's showing respect. Looks like he's choosing to do something else instead of going to practice. Yeah, that doesn't show his coach respect. As a matter of fact, Ricky is disrespecting his coach by not practicing and not doing what his coach asked. Um, what's Ricky doing in this picture? I think he's walking his dog or maybe he's walking the neighbor's dog. But how does that show respect? Well, I bet his parents asked him to walk the dog, and he's gladly doing what they asked. This would be very respectful, especially if you had a good attitude. Now, let's look at our why column. Why do you think it was a good idea for Ricky to respect his teacher by listening in class? When Ricky is listening in class, he will know what to do in class and what he needs to do to get a good grade on his homework. That sounds good. So, what's Ricky doing in this picture? Uh, maybe taking a break? I, I don't know. Well, to me, it looks like he's missing out on all the fun of getting to play soccer. Because he didn't practice, his coach benched him for the game. How about the middle picture? What's going on here? Ricky's getting a big hug from his parents, and it sure looks like the dog's happy too. Yeah, because Ricky respected his parents by obeying them and walking the dog, his parents, and I think the dog too, really appreciated his help. Now his mom and dad know they can trust Ricky, and Ricky feels great that he was able to help. You did a great job helping to tell our story today. Thanks, Tucker. Oh, no problem. So all of us, even we adults, have leaders. We can choose to respect them in the same positive ways we saw Ricky respect his leaders. We can listen, we can do what we're asked to do, and we can show respect to our leaders by having a good attitude. Thanks, Tucker, for showing respect by helping me with today's big idea, and thank you for respecting me by being good listeners. <laughs>